Okay. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Oh, um, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see how good that, you that's are. That's what she's going. According to God's law, the Ten Commandments. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we're not judging you. We broke we, all we ten. We broke yeah. all ten. And you said you don't lie ever in your entire life. Are you? Okay. So you did. Oh God, so, okay. so you did. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything in your entire life, uh, regardless no, of the value? No, no. I said the eye opening now has come to me. Over fifteen years, I've never been. No, no I stolen. I stolen anything. Have you ever regardless. taken anything in your anything. life and not give it back? Uh, yeah. Ir irrelevant of the value. The, oh, my understanding came to the commandment of God. Yes, thou shalt not steal. Have you ever stolen yes. anything? Then listen to me. Before, as a child, I have. Yeah. But when I'm the eye that's opening and the understanding now that's right. has come to me, I know it's bad. I don't do it. What's your name, by the way? Asiat. Asiat. This is my husband, okay. David. My, my name is Gay. Ashato, so you did in your younger years. So have you ever um, hated someone? Because the Bible says, whoso yeah, mm. the Bible says, whosoever hated someone, who already committed murder at heart. So have you hated someone in your entire life? Uh, I pitied my daughter when she was growing up. It's a form of discipline, that one, because yes, it's a daughter. So but have, hate is a different one. Have you have you hated someone as if you want oh, to? Oh, you mean hate? hate. Oh, yeah. yeah, hate. Hated someone. That's uh, another one that I'm not supposed to do. Well, have you done that before? No. Because it's all. I, I, as I said, if you say it before, before when I didn't know. Because God everything is in the much. past. Yes, yeah, I even know. even this but yeah, now, conversation. But now, mm -hmm. I don't do that kind of thing. Yeah, but you done it. Have you done it? Yeah, when yes. Okay, young. thank you, thank you. Um, and I've, I think I've repented for that. Because um, if you repent with all your heart, and then you do it. Tell you why, yeah. I, we will come to that on later. Um, have you ever committed adultery? Because the Bible says, whosoever looked to a person, a man or woman, and lusts after her, has already committed uh, adultery in, in the heart. The have you ever done that in your younger years? The past 15 years, I said I've never been because I'm not married. Pardon? I'm not married, so I don't. But anything. when you look, but when you look someone with lust. No, 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 no. I, no if you I haven't. Took, okay. No, I the, the Bible says that no one can take the commandments. Um, it says in the book of James in the Holy Bible that mm. whosoever keepeth the whole law, yet obtain that one law is guilty of all. So nobody can keep the commandments. That, that's why Jesus came to fulfill the law. I'm, so I'm not saying I'm not. It, I'm keeping the commandments. Like, you nobody can keep the commandment. No, nobody. That, that's why. That's why Jesus came to fulfill the law. Because it says, it says that for all, no, it's also good. But let me tell you, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, if if Everybody if God will sinned. judge you today, God forbid, if you will die today and God will judge you, because it is appointed unto man once I'll, to die, I'll but after the judgment, because please, I'm recovering from stroke. Uh -huh. So, so you survive for a reason. Ooh, yes. Yeah. So if you die yeah. today and God will judge you according to what you said, uh, that you, you lied, stole things, and um, committed uh, murder at heart, would well, you be innocent I'll, in His eyes? So let me ask you a question. How does Please answer God, my question no, no, no. first. Let okay. me ask you another question. Okay. Related to what okay. you say. How does a God assess? As when you don't know him yet, when you don't know God yet, because some people are passing around, they know God they knows everything. Believe. God they knows everything. They don't even believe. God, God knows exists. everything. But for me, I know God exists, and then Jesus died for us. Yeah. So before I come to that realization, I got a question. I got a question. Have been? Have you been born again? Yes. 
How does it happen? Um, confessing that He is my Lord and my Savior. So, have you repented? Yeah. Because you have to repent first. Jesus said, "Except yes. them, except the man be born again, he cannot baptized. see the kingdom of God." Yes, I've done it and I've been so, so you're a born again Christian. Yes. Born okay. Do you do you do you believe that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and is of God? Yes. I'll tell you why I say that because it says in one John four two to test the spirits to see whether they are of God or not. Yeah, mm -hmm. and every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Those who confess not is the spirit of Antichrist. Yeah. So we all, nobody can keep the commandments, is what my wife said. If we break one commandment, we're guilty of breaking all ten, according to the book of James. Whosoever offendeth at one point is guilty of all. That means that if you break one commandment, you're guilty of all ten. That's why Jesus came to fulfill the law of Moses, the commandments, and on the cross, he paid the price for our sins. Yeah, for those who repent and put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone and believe in the death, burial, and resurrection through his precious blood. Do you, do you read your Bible every day? My, all we're saying to you is this. Yes. Your ba the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible every day. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So we must read the Word of God every day. It's in our, our instruction book for life itself. And this is how we witness, help you to witness to others. Yeah, we got to give the we got to give the law to yeah. the, the the law. Do what Jesus done. <laughs> in Mark chapter ten, a rich young ruler came running up to Jesus, and he said these words. Good master, what must I do to have eternal life? And Jesus, the first thing Jesus said was, "Why?" He reproved him. He said, "Why call me good? There is none good but God, God the Father." Yeah. He said, "Have you kept the commandments? Have you kept the law of Moses? Have you honoured your parents? Have you lied? Have you stolen? Have you done this?" He was so self-righteous. He said these words, "I've kept all of these from my youth." Now, no one can keep the commandments. Nobody. Eight billion people. We've all broke one, and if you break one, you're guilty of all ten, according to the word of God. He turned round, Jesus turned round and said to him, Go away and sell that which you have and give to the poor, and you will have much riches in the kingdom of God. He was self righteous, he thought he was keeping all the commandments, and he was a rich man, and Jesus said, Go away sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have much riches in the kingdom of God. He went away like this because he didn't want to part with his money. He didn't want to part with his money. So we the, we give law to the pride, commandments to the pride, and let the law do the work on the heart because we've all broke those commandments. And that's why we need a saviour. And then we repent and put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone, not in a religion, in Jesus Christ. That's, that's what we're trying to say. <laughs> it might help you how to witness to others. To others. What's your name again? Asiya. 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 I'm, I'm David and my wife Gary. And, and you know, we, we took a long route to go about. Are you Indonesia? No. Oh. I'm a Filipino and the Lord, the Lord yeah. used my husband. I was a Catholic. She was a Catholic. I told you. I, I was a Protestant. Lord, we're out of our religions because religion can't save anyone. Mm -hmm. And we're born again in Jesus Christ. He's our saviour, not a religion. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, the thing up there. Clearly, one time, he said to me, Arise and shine. I look for those. We're in love with Jesus. I know, I saw it at the in the Isaiah 60. Yes. Rise and shine, I said. Let, let, let your light shine. That's right. You can't hide, uh, hide, hide a, 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 a candle under a bushel. That's right. <laughs> you got to let go out and let your light shine. I'm, a, I'm an author now, and I published a book of our life. It's on Amazon. You can read the first two chapters free. And there's a video on um, YouTube. Um, you know, when I had a stroke, 
but the Lord brought you through that, you're still here. It's a part of your testimony. It's a part of your testimony, that's right. And you give glory to God, you give glory yes. to Jesus. That's what, anywhere I go. Tell people about anywhere. Jesus, look, Tell them. he saved this wretched sinner. He had mercy upon this soul. Yeah. He delivered you from your stroke. He saved you, that's right. Yeah. And uh, I know other people, they are watching his stick. But I'm not. No, that's right. So. We're grateful for what every day is a blessing. Every day is a blessing, and we're grateful to be Tell alive. Tell others about Jesus and what He's done to you. Ha have a nice day, have a my love. Day. Have a nice day. And please have a read of the book of St. Amazon. It's free to read the first two chapters, and all my dirty laundries and all our dirty laundries in that book. And it, it's there to inspire faith in the lost and unbelieving. I read a book long time ago. It's about the sort of filthiness in the church. That's right. That's why we're not in an organized religion because the churches are closing down. They're going into carpet shops and mosque, and the people are now they uh, are under the churches are under Rome, right? They're all coming together, make a one word religion, but no Jesus. It's not. It's not. It's called. It's called ecumenicalism. Jesus said, "Without me, you can do nothing." That's right. You cannot put Jesus. They all need Jesus. Mm. That's right. This is this this what she's giving you here. This is a father and son team. I'm an evangelist. I point people to Jesus, but what he does is he does Bible studies, and they're free to God to you. Thank you.